DLC, love it or hate it, it's not going away. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Weekday 1-Up. My butt hurts. Where? I wonder why that is. I wonder what I even mean by that. Am my butt hurt or does my butt literally hurt? Is he butt hurt over all the DLC? Find out today. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Oh, uh, that would have been a better intro. Oh, well, uh, guys, we're going to probably blow through this episode because we're on a time restraint today. But we're doing it for you. Yeah, we, we still do. We're, last season, we would have probably just not done the episode. We probably mm -hmm. just would have missed the end of the week. So uh, this one's less research, just kind of going off the cuff of what we think about it. Um, that's what we'll call these, off the cuff. And um, so, yeah, let's just jump straight in. I don't know how long it's going to end up being, but DLC... Is something that it depends on what downloadable it is. content. It depends on what it is. Like the way Nintendo's doing DLC right now, gold. Well, let's just talk a little bit about DLC in general. Okay. So DLC, downloadable content, right, is used to add in more content to the game, right? Which is cool. Like that's what Nintendo does with it. Right. Like, and a lot of companies, they have racers, cars. Or, yeah, like, whole new, all this new stuff that's just, it's not very expensive. They don't charge a lot. No. I, I think the most you can get, like, I bought Ryu for, like, $4. And then the other type of DLC, and not every company that's not Nintendo does this, obviously. Nintendo's just the one that I can think of right now that does it good. Just because they're doing it so good right now. But anyway, go on. Uh, the other type of DLC, there's two others. The other one is, like, really expensive DLC that, like... It's kind of like what Nintendo does where they add, like, a ton to the game, but they, like, add whole new worlds. Like, the, it's, like, game-changing. Like, everything changes when you get this DLC. And that kind of stuff's cool, but it normally costs a little more. And the other one is the annoying kind, which is where they just kind of nickel and dime you for stupid stuff that you don't want. Or they charge you for stuff that's already on the disc, that comes on the disc, and it just gives you, like, a code to unlock it. Like, you download the DLC, and it just tells it, you can now access this information. Yeah, at that point, they're really just <clears throat> trying to make money. This is what we call the EA Activision approach. Did they do that? EA? Mm -mm. It's like, what, what do you think that makes your viewers, or your fans, your gamers, the people who play your games? That doesn't, it makes you look like you don't give a crap about your games. <laughs> you just care about the money. Yeah. I mean, as if your E3 performance wasn't already enough of that. Now, another thing that honestly annoys me about DLC nowadays is that people use it as an excuse to not finish games. Talking about uh, EA. Yeah. yeah. Go on. But people use it as an excuse to not finish games. Like, back in the day, you finished your game as good as you could get it, because once it's out, that's it. Mario There's 64? no patching it. Yeah. I was done. I beat that game. Yeah, that's it. Now, people will ship games like Assassin's Creed Unity when it came out that aren't done. Like, they'll be like, well, we've got a date. We need to get it out so the shareholders holders will be happy, so the public will be happy. Here's the game. They put it out, we play it, and it's broken. And then they're like, oh, well, it's okay. We can just patch it later. Which is some bull. That's a huge way to screw off your biggest fans who, like, screw over. I, I said screw off. Yeah. Your biggest fans who, like... Go Sometimes. there, then like go to GameStop at night and wait in that line to grab your game, and I they want to go and play it. I know so many people who are hardcore Assassin's Creed fans, like myself, still am. But as soon as they got Unity, they were like, "I'm done with this series. Mm -hmm. You're done." You know, because, because they screwed over their fans. Yeah, I heard the gameplay, aside from the brokenness, was actually good. But the well, and it's fixed now. Yeah, but it's just like, why? Why are you gonna put out broken games? Like, at least get it as close as you possibly can. Like another example of that is Bloodborne. 
Bloodborne, I think, was great. As close as it could possibly be. I think the only big problem was the load, the times. load times. Yeah. Which they probably couldn't have anticipated. They probably weren't even looking at that. They were probably just like, okay, we made this awesome game. It's huge, open world. Look at everything we've done. They patched that within a week, not six months. Yeah, it well, wasn't it wasn't a week. week. It was like in a month. Yeah. They patched it, and it's like, okay, that's a quick fix. You don't have to buy anything to patch it. Like, it's a free patch. Everything else was pretty much done. You already paid. Did you have to pay for the patches in Assassin's Creed? No, I don't think so. Okay. But it's just like, if you know there's big game-breaking problems, that's a thing. Load times is one thing that people can deal with, but if you know there's big game-breaking po- problems, don't don't save the fixes for DLC. Just fix your game mm-hmm. and delay it. So DLC that I like is... Uh... Like 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 stuff like if you've beaten the game like if it's a uh, MMO or something mm-hmm. or an RPG like you've beaten the game but then they're like all right now you like this game we know you already spent sixty some odd dollars in it but we gotta make money so here spend twenty five dollars and you get this whole other level you like that I think I I, I think that's cool because yeah. it's like you're because it's not like you're paying sixty dollars for like. A whole, th- a whole another game. You're just getting like twenty, twenty five dollars to get another level. What Nate say? Tell me in a minute. He's gonna be home in just a second. He wants me to move so that he can get into the garage. All right. Well. Uh. Anyway. So another reason we're gonna have to hurry this episode up. And yeah, that's the kind of DLC I like. But let's just jump to the question blog. All right. Uh, we're sorry, guys. Sure, we're crunched for so much time. We love you. We promise next week will be so much better. This is blame our jobs, guys. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. That, I mean, just blame the hours that they're making us work. We gotta be in at three in the morning, so we gotta go and get to sleep. We've gotta do this podcast. Um, Speaking of podcast, the comic cast, make sure you check that out. All right, jump us through the question of the right, question of the day. It's by Mr. Sonic Team One Two One. Hey, buddy. If you could be invisible for a day, what would you do? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> Well, I can tell you what high school Dakota would have done. That's exactly what I thought. First thing, I was like, where's the girls' locker room? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Who knows? I might cheat, too. I'm going to go look at your test. Ooh, those are the answers. Okay, thank you, smart kid. <laughs> now, today, Co- Deca- today, Dakota, I'm more like, man, I would, like, sneak into some places. and Yeah, I don't honestly know what I would do. Maybe sneak into a theme park and then... I've thought about this. Like, I would, like... Yeah, sneak into a theme park, that'd be cool. Yeah, sneak into places that I need, like, to pay to get into, and then... Yeah, exactly, like, sneak into Disney World? Sneak into a concert, yeah. yeah. Sneak into, sneak onto a plane? And then you just stay invisible? Yeah. So people don't know you're there and don't have a seat or anything? Yeah. Find a plane that's going to where you want to go, and then... So basically, we'd steal a lot of... We'd, we'd like... Have your passport on you? Illegally get into a lot of stuff. Yeah. And all your stuff is invisible, too. Right? Yeah. Not just your person. That's the assumption. Yeah. You don't have to be naked. Yeah. I mean, so. I would also go naked. Like, I'd go, I'd go downtown and just strip. And just... That would be enjoyable. Like, you know, just... Like, I'd just walk up to, like, some dude and just, like... I feel like I would, like... I'd go invisible around family and friends in their house and just, like, watch what they do. Now you're just being creepy. No, it's like... I'm just trying to think of more stuff. I know that is creepy. That would be, like... But I agree with you. I always wonder, like... like I wouldn't... I don't want to see, like, what they always do, but, like, I don't know, like... I do often wonder what you're doing when I'm not around. This is me on the computer. This is what I'm doing. See, like, it would get boring really fast, but... Oh. Oh, maybe I would, like, invisible myself into, like... Invisible. Lecture halls so that I could, like... Gain a little knowledge without having to pay for college. You're on that knowledge gain. Well, even before, like, I don't know. Like, you could learn the college stuff and not have to pay for it. That's I don't true. get a degree, though. You can do that anyway. Yeah, you can, so. Yeah, you don't even have to be invisible. You can walk in. Uh, I did that. I would, oh, I would invisible myself into a game company or an animation company. See how they do it. Like, that's another thing I would do. Like, just get tours of things that I like, mm-hmm. like, without them knowing I'm there. So, like, I would go to Naughty Dog. Yeah. And I just watch what they're doing. Like, oh, this is really cool. Like, we could have invisible fans in here right now. Carnivores? Oh, wait, I guess they're not carnivores on this channel, are they? No, they could be. Well, you could be a carnivore. Guys, we're going to wrap this up. I'm sorry that this is a much shorter episode Blame than Blame Nate. Only not even 10 minutes yet. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry it's a much shorter episode than normal. Blame a lot of things, but at least we did it. Normally, we wouldn't have even done it, so... 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and at least this way we don't ramble. Yeah, and we you can follow us right here on all social media. You know, that's our Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, Snapchat for me. Not Snapchat for me. Mine is Jimmy D Richards. And um, when you share this video, make sure you use the, share the video fan or whatever you want to do that has to involve us. Hashtag WD One Up. Yeah, and thank you guys so much for watching. Next week we will promise to get the episodes a little longer. And please put in more questions and topics. We really need questions. That was our last question that we just read. So There's um, a few on there. I've been looking at the comments. Well, mm, there shouldn't be. I wrote down, unless they just left the comments like an hour ago. Oh. Because I wrote these down before I left to come here. Oh, you're right. I read the invisible one like today. Yeah. So um, we'll see you guys. Stay nerdy. Stay nerdy. Go check out the comic cast so you can see why we had to cut this short. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to come back next time for the next video. And as always, stay nerdy. Yeah, we did it! Nice, dude.